Hi folks, I'm here at Mandic again and today we're going to be chatting with Matt and we're talking sci-fi and everything all Warpath universe. So Matt, I think the best way to do it is we break it down by game system. Sure, yep. Let's kick off with Firefight. What can you tell us about that? Well, Firefight's had a, um, a really great year. Yeah, you know, it's, it's exploded off the off the back of last year, where um, you know we'd kind of we, we'd launched the game, it got out there, we got some some great reviews, great response to, yeah. to to the game itself. You know, everyone loved the mechanics. Um, it won Game of the Year, yeah. <laughs> which is which is fantastic accolade. Um, and uh, you know, we, we people were starting to, to um, not just give feedback from from their games at home, but we're starting to get um, events and, and tournaments yeah. and the things you want to kind of the yeah. foster a community and, and build a game system. Um, we developed an art, uh, a rules committee, um, you know, off the back of the work that Andy had done on, on developing the game in the first place. Um, and, and from that, we looked at this year and said, actually, there's, there's, you know, there's, a, there's a great core of a, a system there. But what, what, what we really want to do is take this to the next level, go back and look at it again and say, OK, let's, let's do an update. And yeah. it was initially, it was a bit of a, a bit like Clash of Kings for Kings of War. So we'll go back over the units and do an, an annual yeah. balancing. And, so, and we looked at it and saw, actually, there's, there's some, some bits with the rules that we could, we could adjust as well and make this game absolutely knock out, yeah. which, is, which is what we're, where we ended up. So we worked with the, with the rules committee um, and uh, incorporating some of Ronnie's crazy ideas, of course, because <laughs> he wanted a massive tank game and, and everything else and obviously uh, put that through the filter and say, OK, what, what can we really do? Um, so we, we built that in as well. So there's a whole ton of new vehicles and uh, upgrades on the existing kits and, and new things as well. And I think what we've ended up with at the end is, is, is phenomenal. Yeah. And, and all, of, all of that kind of that, that polishing and knocking off the hard edges and stuff is all part of the command protocols of uh, release, yeah? That's it. And uh, obviously, you know, one of our, our grand plan last year was to have a, a, a rule book and a force list book and so that we could do the force list separately. And of course, then we came to it and said, actually, we want to change a lot here. And so we've mashed them all back into one book. So, you know, best laid plans yeah. and all, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's the command protocols book. So that's that's now firefight for that's that's the baseline now for, yeah. for, for taking things forwards. You know, and some of the stuff that we'd learned with the with the first edition, just in terms of presentation, um, if you look at the packaging we'd done for the vehicles that we had before, we'd done a lot of work with, we'd taken photos and then we'd done, um, a guy called Scott done paint overs over the top, yeah. you know, um, environmental effects, you know, muzzle flashes, all yeah. of that sort of stuff. We wanted to continue that, especially as we were doing more vehicles. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we've done a lot of work, um, again with Scott um, and Ben, our own photographer on, you know, how we do that presentation. And I think yeah. the, the vehicles again, I, th I think it was a, a, the next step up. So we, we've yeah. carried that theme through, but I think it looks brilliant. Yeah, I think, I think it's one of those things where when you, if you start with the end goal in mind, knowing that you're going to do that now, you, you take the photographs with, with that, as opposed to yeah. kind of, Absolutely. here's a photograph, can you do anything with it kind yeah. of thing. But it, yeah, I agree, it looks fantastic. So you touched on that briefly that command protocols now is the kind of, is, this is like the bedrock now for going forward. So what's coming up then? Well, we've got, um, so if you've got the Command Protocols book and you're an Enforcer player, you'll have seen that there's some units in there that were brand new. Yes. Uh, we've got the models for those coming out in December, like the Nova Shock Troopers, and there's a, um, a sniper platform, kind of a big, big heavy gun thing. Uh, phase claws for both peacekeepers and enforcers, which yeah. have been kicking around in the army lists in, in, in Dead Zone 2 for forever. Yeah. But we've never actually, in fact, the models were sculpted ages and ages ago. It's just, They've never made it made it out to retail, so they're coming out as well. Um, and some of the little Enforcer drones that were available, they came out in the the Pathfinder Strike Force that we did yeah. with the with the Warlord um, drone. Uh, they're available now separately as well. So that's a kind of a, a neat little package for um, for uh, Enforcer players yeah. to to fill out those those units that they've seen and probably thought, wow, those look great. Yeah. Now you've got the models. Fantastic. So that's back end of this year. You said December. Back end of this yeah. year. Any thoughts on twenty? 2024? Um, yep, so uh, the thing we can reveal now for uh, early 2024 is that um, Maison Labs have been tinkering as they always do. <laughs> They've opened uh, opened a rift, um, hastily closed it again, but it's too late. Uh, and uh, the, the space, the dark matter, whatever you call it, the void that crosses times, dimensions, galaxies, everything else, They've created a rift into, um, and they've let out the Night Stalkers. So Fantastic. the Night Stalkers will will make that jump from from yeah. Kings of War 
universe into the into the firefight uh, universe into the warpath universe too yeah i can definitely see them coming over of, of kind of of all of the different armies that mantic do um i can definitely see where night stalkers really fit into that and they look really different once they're on uh, once they're on round bases and, yeah. and they're separated out and we've uh, gone a completely different quite an alien yeah. more alien yeah. <laughs> uh, paint scheme for them plus we've uh, they've got different uh, some different upgrades we've made them some more range weapons more more sci-fi and we've sculpted more models for them as well which yeah. won't exist in kings of war but will be part of the firefight army yeah. uh, including some quite you know quite a big flying piece as well which oh. is um, which looks quite nasty exciting i'm looking forward to, to seeing those yeah. come through um so is that is is that a kind of the, that's what you've got on the plan, or that's what you can tell us about so that's far. What yeah. I can tell you about. Yes. Obviously, we've got ideas moving, moving yeah. forwards, and that army refreshes and other things that are, that yeah. are coming out. Uh, looking at more hard plastics and things like that for for firefight. So, um, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it, yeah. Command protocols was the baseline, and we're just, yeah. just we're just going now. That's it. Now, now you kind of you, you've got the rules down. Now it's just kind of full steam ahead with the with the that's models it. now. Yep. Fantastic. So moving over to its its smaller but slightly older brother now, Dead Zone. <laughs> yep. Um, Dead Zone. It's kind of been a little bit quiet of late. What's 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 kind of on the cards yeah, for that? Yeah, I mean, I think because of the focus on uh, firefight. Yeah. You know, kind of resource-wise, we stepped away and go, okay, look at the bigger picture. Let's look at that game. But then now, now that's done, um, and we've got a plan for that going forward. We we can focus back on the on the on the smaller scale thing again. Uh, so we've got some great new content coming out uh, in the companion around Christmas time. Excellent. Um, uh, updates for just subscribers and for everyone, so which, I, which I think will be great. Um, obviously, they'll um, uh, the new d Dead Zone um, rules for the enforcers. Yeah. You know, those enforcer models. They'll get those uh, Night Stalkers too. Yeah. So you'll be able to play Night Stalkers in, in, in oh, both amazing. games. Um, so those those releases will come out kind of in, in tandem at the start of the year. Um, and then again, we've got um, some ideas for mid, uh, for what to do mid-year in terms of some some new factions and, and things like that as well. So those things are in, in, in planning or with, with RCs or sculptors or, or yeah. all that now. So some, some great stuff to come out. Exciting. So lots, yeah. lots to look forward to for Dead Zone yeah. as well. I think it's one of those games that is, um, it's a great kind of stepping in point as well. As if, if you're a more of a, a sci-fi gamer than a fantasy gamer, it's a brilliant stepping in point in the Mantic's kind of range of stuff as well. So seeing those extra stuff coming through, it, it, it just brings it front of mind again to people, doesn't it? Yep. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's kind of mid-year next year, did you say, roughly? Uh, so obviously uh, the uh, Night Stalkers yeah. in, in tandem in the, in the start of the year. Yeah, and then mid-year, um, summer-ish time, we'll look at um, some maybe a new faction and maybe some refresh of, of stuff, some mm. new models and things for some of the existing things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so not long, not long to wait. Exciting, yeah, I look forward to seeing that as well. And I guess we couldn't talk about sci-fi stuff without talking about the, the announcement recently about Warpath. Obviously, there was a lot of buzz about it when it was announced, uh, and, and I really appreciate from you guys as well, kind of sort of putting it out there and seeing what people think about it. So what can you tell us about where Warpath is now? So Warpath, for, if anyone doesn't know, so if, if Dead, Dead Zone's the, the skirmish scale, uh, Warpaths, uh, firefights are kind of your next step up. Yep. Platoon, squads, you know, some, a couple of vehicles, that kind of thing, or millions of vehicles, if you're Ronnie. <laughs> um, the, the, the next step up is those, those epic things. So everything's set in our Warpath universe. Yes. That's, that's kind of what, 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 we, what we've called it, what we've coined it. Um, so all those stories are told in there, all those factions live in there. But um, Ronnie's idea for Warpath was always that it was a big, epic game. Yeah. Um, you know, originally it was conceived as being, you know, at 28 mil scale and you just get everything out and, yeah, and play big, that. Big uh, table, et cetera, et cetera. loads of models, yeah. But actually we've stepped back and said, well, we've got two 28 mil games, we've got, we've got Dead Zone, we've got Firefight. Yeah. You know, wouldn't it be better if we actually to represent those, those, those epic uh, encounters, we reduce the scale so you can have... You can have play on a similar size table. You know, it's you're not you're not having to get all your mates around to get everything out. You know, and it's yeah. and, it, and it becomes less of a, you know, once every three months event and something you can play in an evening like yeah. any other like any other game. Excellent. So that's where we went. So we we started looking at that, um, messing around with scales and things like that, having a go at looking at the rules. What would they look like? Um, and then uh, and then you know we put it out to the community and said this is as far as we've got. Yep. Um, this is what we want to do. This is what we were planning. This is where we want to take Warpath itself as a game. Um, and what do you want to do? Um, what do you think? Yes. Um, you know, which, which which direction should we take this in terms of um, in terms of uh, plastic, STL, yeah. resin, some kind of mix, etc., yeah, etc. Et 
Um, so we put up a survey, public survey, um, and huge number of responses. Yeah. I mean, personally, I was expecting, you know, as with all these things, you think, oh, you'll get just get a few hundred people come back. I think we had over 2,000, wow. which was which is just incredible. Um, and the overwhelming uh, response was, yes, we want this, yeah. go for it. Um, so that's what we're doing. So um, we will be going to Kickstarter, which, which you know, is part of the responses. People said, yep, yeah. absolutely, just, just go for it. Um, you know, fund as much as you can. So we will do. So it will be a Kickstarter again, Q1 next uh, next year. Um, hard plastics. Yeah. Let's let's get those funded. Um, and uh, yeah, and we'll cover we'll we'll cover certainly four races to start with. And I think we've talked about these. It will be the plague, the enforcers. We'll look at you know, we'll, more of the alien races like the Asterians and Forge Fathers. Yeah. Obviously, as the funding carries on going, we can start to look at of more course, and more. Of course, yeah. But we'll do all that in, in hard plastic. Uh, we're looking, we've got terrain coming as well. A uh, big part of the response was from the 3D printing STL crowd. So obviously, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll look at what we can yeah. what we can do around that as well to layer in on top of on top of the plastics or, or whatever that is. Yeah. Um, and then we, we've got our own resins and everything else. So you know, we've got there's loads of scope. You know, yeah. obviously it's, it is a warp off universe. We've got all those factions, and there's nothing to say that actually, you know, if the if the funding goes goes really well, and you know, and we're and we're hitting stretch goals and knocking them down, we we can't look at new factions that we haven't done in Firefight yet yeah, or, or Dead Zone or, or anything yeah. like that. You know, all, there's, there's so many possibilities. I think the, the, the response from the community about, like you say, the survey alone, how many people signed up for that, the, the chatter online and people talking about it, there's definitely interest in this game. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the fact that you guys are then backing it up and going to Kickstarter with it early next year, which, which is just around the corner to be fair, it's right, not very yeah. far away. So yeah, if, if, if this is something that you want to see happen and you want to see happen in a big way, sign up for that Kickstarter when it happens back it and make sure that it funds and uh, you'll certainly be able to get your hands on some amazing stuff. Yep, absolutely. So it looks like from a sci-fi point of view, there's plenty happening. Lots. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it matters whether you're a firefight fan, you're a dead zone fan, or you're chopping it a bit for Warpath. There's definitely something happening in the near future and some big plans for next year. So Matt, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Don't forget, we've got a few more videos as well. We've got one covering the fantasy stuff that I've done with Ronnie, and we've also done one about the board games from Mantic that I've covered with Dan. So make sure you watch those too. Thanks for watching.